Good morning everybody and this is your Euro USD setups for today. So we've been having lots of lots of noise about uh, the economy and about interest rate hikes and uh, uh, hence the dollar was uh, weakening through most of the year or well, basically from February it, it's been drifting higher. Uh, this at the moment doesn't look very good it could be a like i said yesterday you know we had the flag break so we were looking for decent breaks but that uh not materialize and now we kind of bottom of the flag again so this could be just a channel or which i think is more in line with what's actually going on um could be a double bottom uh, double top, sorry, with the, the neckline right here at 109.025. Uh, oscillators are pointing down. Uh, we're still technically above the 150 EMA, but I'm not 100% sure you want to be taking longs there. And when you look at it on the three hour, we've got a crossover of the moving averages right here by the 150 in the bottom of the zone with the oscillators grouped to the downside. So, you know could be a little move back up to test the neckline at 109.025 um, or we're looking for a rejection of that for a move to the downside so um, i think a rejection there if you look at the hour is probably the wise bet so you'd want to see price get to this level and reject it with uh, inside bar pin bar and golfing bars and then you'd be looking for a move down but this is in the zone so it's in the zone that i've given you and that's uh, between 109.025 and 108.700. So that zone, when you look at this on the 8 hour, you can see the significance of it. And if you look at it on the 3 hour, you're going to see even more significance of that zone. Okay. So I'm not a fan of this. I really, you're going to get buyers coming in here from the institutions, that's for sure. And you're also going to get sellers coming in off the top here. So the question is, are we just going to bounce in this area? Or are we going to have some kind of a break? And uh, just looking at what went on yesterday, big move down. That's based on data. So data wasn't really positive, uh, which is always good for the dollar. So negative data, good for the dollar. Remember that. And boom, 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 boom we fell could be a bottom forming but i'm more on the line to believe it is probably going to range and then next week probably another move to the downside so for today i uh, clearly not going to be getting in on any of the action today i don't think there's going to be much action to be honest i think it's going to be extremely volatile so um, we will keep our money in our pocket for today anyway that's it for me hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on monday morning Cheers for now.